My goal is the wise and productive use of money. How about you? My name is Mr. 2020. You are listening to the Power of Imagination podcast, where we explore one thing, the Power of Imagination podcast, where we reference and explore often the teachings of Neville Goddard, and where we share what uh, had me walk away from scoliosis, PTSD, internal bleeding, a hip replacement, uh, what's given me freedom so I never have to sit in traffic again, where I can do what I love and make great money. How about that today on the Power of Imagination podcast? By the way, this is what I want for you. And a lot of people are teaching silly shit to do. I live in Australia. I used to be an American. Now I'm a, now I am an Australian. I've gotten citizenship in my chosen country. That's another win, by the way. I got it two years ahead of schedule. Another win, by the way. And I seem to digress again, don't I? But my goal is the wise, productive use of money. And there was a post that someone tried to put in one of my Facebook groups years ago that said, I am a money magnet, and it went into all that bullshit. And I can promise you, walking around saying, I am a money magnet, is dumb. It's like walking around saying, I'm a puppy magnet, right? (laughs) Or telling people that you have a puppy when you don't, because they tell me words have power. So I'm going to use my words as if I already have a puppy. It's all nuts, isn't it? But Neville shares a story, and this story comes from a state, and the statement in the story reveals the state. This is in the Prosperity Pack, by the way, which you can get at NevilleGoddardProsperityPack.com. But I also seem to digress again, don't I? But I'm actually never digressing. Because here's the deal. Neville talks about a fella whose internal experience, internal conversation centered about the wise, productive use of money. What are your inner conversations about money like? Do they run wild like weeds in the garden? Does the vine need pruned again? Because a lot of people have a lot of conversations about a little bit of money. Instead of having just a little bit of conversation about the wise, productive use of money. When I talk to people who are self-made wealth, I started doing this years ago. Old Edwin was on my paper route. When I, when I started talking to these people, when I started professionally modeling them, studying how they structure their experience, one of the things that I discovered is they think a lot less about money than people who have less money. People who have less money tend to have a lot of going on about money. And almost none of it has to do with the wise, productive use of it. So let's shift gears a little bit. Ready? Time. What if I was halfway done? I'm 58. What if I lived to 116? And I'm halfway done. I might live to 164. I'm having fun entertaining that. But what if I'm halfway done? Wouldn't it be cool to have the wise, productive use of time? And instantly, a lot of people go to work. I instantly go to play, dance, making a difference in the world while making great money. There's nothing better than waking up in the morning. You see, when you're waking up and you realize that you're making, you're waking and you're making a difference in the world and the lives of the people around you. Do you honestly think as God having the adventure of a lifetime you came here to worry To have inner conversations that suck the energy out of you. But I seem to digress again, don't I? Because if you just had a few... Now let me tell you about time. Because I probably have the most free time out of anyone I know. That's still productive. Some people retire at my age or younger. I'm probably never going to retire. Because I'm not tired. And I love what I do. But the wise, productive use of time has me experience more moments than minutes. When you measure time by minutes, how many minutes did this happen? Why didn't it happen in this many minutes? When you're thinking in terms of minutes, you're thinking and you're measuring time. Let's call that mentating. This is one way to explore that question, Max. Here's another. The wise, productive use of time... I explore 
moments. When, when moments happen, it's like time and space and separation dissolve. There was a moment when our eyes met. There was a moment when I realized I would do nothing else in my life but this. There was a moment when I realized my career in law enforcement was over. I can't tell you what minute it was, but I can tell you a lot about the moment. And it's these moments that we live for, it's these moments that we live from, and when you are in a state of measuring minutes... By the way, what's a minute? A minute is the smallest unit. You could take the same word and pronounce it minute, can't you? But the smallest unit, <laughs> a minute of time, a minute of, well, study angles, right? They're measured way down into minutes, too. But I seem to digress. Because as soon as you start measuring life in minutes, you become a secondary person, a secondary event. You just become secondary, period. Your quality of life is minute whenever you measure time by minutes. So on the other hand, when you experience life in the moment, in the moments, you see, the word moment has to do with movement, has to do with momentum. To me, it feels magical. Meanwhile, I dive, I invite you to dive deeper to soar higher. I invite you to join remarkable.com. That's one word, join remarkable.com. If this kind of intrigues you a little bit, join remarkable.com. We also have some very cool recordings if you just want to check out what we're like. If you go to nevillegoddardstore.com, we've got the 2024 transformation series. God, there's some good stuff in there. And one of them, it's all about this. You'll see it, and I invite you to explore it with us in one way or the other. My name is Mr. 2020. You've been listening to the Power of Imagination podcast. Make sure you subscribe. Feel free to share it. Like it, too. That makes a difference. It makes a difference to us. And who knows who you may make a difference to in the world by sharing something like this instead of just some other cat videos. If you love what we do, if you love who we are, Spread the love. And now let's imagine up something yummy, like more magical moments and momentum as we go into the silence. All right, those who live minute by minute tend to tell me a couple things. They tend to say, I don't have any time. They tend to tell me, I don't know what to do with my time. I don't know what to do first. Radio. Moments reveal the now. Minutes measure time slipping by. Moments are magical. And I invite you to join us. That's what I got today. Have a great day. And thank you for listening to, sharing, and liking, and loving, and subscribing to the Power of Imagination podcast. See ya.